My gratitude to you all. Many years have passed since your prince has tread upon his native soil. So let us now welcome home T'Challa, the son of Wakanda. So some Geekly Update news. Uh, Stan Lee himself has announced that there will be a Black Panther movie. Now this is fantastic news for anyone who's been a fan of Black Panther because he's been on the Marvel movie shortlist for so long now, you know, along with Doctor Strange and many others. So Stanley to announce and say that there will be a Black Panther movie, you know, long before a Doctor Strange movie, you know, long before any of the other shortlist Marvel movies that have been uh, rumored at. This is good news. This is great news. So hopefully I imagine we will expect to see a Black Panther movie probably sometime around 2015, I would imagine. Now on to casting as to who could play T'Challa, aka the Black Panther. There have been loads of rumours as to who could take on this role, uh, ranging from Idris Elba to Michael J. White to Chiwetel A4, I think I pronounced his name right, and these are all some fantastic actors. Um, if we start with Idris Elba, chances are I don't think they're going to go for him um, as his responsibilities with Thor at the moment, uh, playing Heimdall, I don't think they're going to let him give that role up just yet. I mean, obviously, there have been tons of actors before who have played you know, different superheroes in different movies. You know, you just have to look at uh, Chris Evans, who, of course, you know, played uh, Johnny Storm in the Fantastic Four and Captain America. Now, I know Fantastic Four was Fox and Captain America has been a Marvel produced movie. But yeah, it's been it's been done. It's happened. Um, I've heard obviously more rumours towards sort of uh, Chiwetel and uh, Michael J. White. Those guys, I think, really looked the part. I think those guys look more the part than than Idris Elba. Idris Elba is quite a, a bulky guy, you know. I think the Panthers got to be sleek and lean looking, and these guys have that. You know, they're still muscular, but they're 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 sleek and lean at the same time, you know. And the Panthers got to have his his ability of prowess and being able to, to leap around and, you know, act cat-like, you know. So, yeah, a lean physique is, is going to be needed, you know, um, as opposed to, you know, big, you know, and muscular. You know, they've, they've got tons of big muscular superheroes already in the Marvel, in the Marvel U. Um, you know, and we need these more diverse characters, you know, not these big bruisers. You know, we've already got Iron Man, Captain America, and the Hulk, and Thor... Who are the you know the big bruisers, the guys that go in and you know can take down the enemies by sheer brute force? You know, uh, with hopefully the inclusion of Doctor Strange, we'll we'll have someone who brings in the Mystic Arts, and with Black Panther, we'll have someone who's that more, as I say, sleek and uh, a bit able to sort of niftily move in and around the battlefield. You know, maybe much like what Black Widow does, but with more prowess, with more animal instinct. Sorry, my phone just went off there. You probably heard that. Um, right, where was I? Um, so, yeah, yeah, they need to get someone, as I say, who's got that, that lean physical ability of being able to jump around and, uh, and fight that way. I think that would be really cool. And obviously he's got his little... Um, he's got, like, those darts that he has within his, his gloves and everything, you know, that he fires from a distance. They're really cool. And I hope they use that kind of feature. And... Um, I just, I just love to see the Black Panther story played out. I think uh, Marvel's creation of the land of Wakanda is a fantastic aspect of the Marvel universe, and they need to show. I think they briefly mentioned it in, uh, I think it was either Avengers or, or something. I think they mentioned Wakanda, so it'd be great to see it because the civilization itself, as it's been depicted, is this wonderful sort of you know African nation which has the mixture of old and new you know it's it's got sort of tribal elements to it but it's also got this technology element to it as well which is wonderful and it it's it almost you know outshines shield technology because um in in comics law uh vibranium the stuff that made captain america's shield comes from wakanda so they've got this whole massive resource supply of vibranium and they've used it to to you know give their give their settlement 
uh, all these defences and they've got these wonderful towers of gold and, and it, it just looks incredible. I mean, I think I last saw it in the, um, the animated movie uh, Avengers 2, Rise of the Panther. This movie is worth checking out because this gives you a lot of um, information on the Black Panther. As you can see him just there at the bottom. Let me try and get that to the camera. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. And um, yeah, you know, he's a really cool character and they show him off really well in that. They show off Wakanda and they show off what he can do. And um, that story is about him joining the Avengers and everything. And the Avengers going to Wakanda as well uh, to stop an alien invasion, as you do. So, um, yeah, if they can pull that off really well, Wakanda and and Panther being in integrated into the Avengers, uh, you know, maybe for Avengers 3, I imagine, if, if, if it would be a 2015 release. I don't think they're going to get him in time for Avengers 2, because I think that's already underway. Um, but Avengers 3, yeah, it would be cool to see him, it really would. And I just, I hope they find the right actor. There's also rumours of Wesley Snipes to be cast in the role, and going back to actors playing two different parts in um in superhero movies you know yeah okay he's done blade um you know but that was what back in the back in the early 2000s so it would be cool to see him in another superhero role again and yeah i think he could pull off panther really well uh you know again he's got that sort of sleek agility you know that he showed off in in the blade series the only thing with that is could wesley snipes portray the troubled prince aspect of T'Challa, you know, yeah, we've seen him as brooding half vampire, Blade, but with T'Challa, his his character is uh, the whole thing behind that, you know, he is a troubled prince, you know, destined to become king of Wakanda, and he's kind of struggling with the uh, with the issue of that, you know, kind of similar to Thor in the way, you know, um, in the first Thor film, and I think going by the comic story. I think his his father dies, um, which leads him to, to being, you know, uh, the king of Wakanda. And it's kind of thrust upon him without him having much in the, in the chance to say anything against it. So this role is pushed upon him and he's just got to deal with it. And um, yeah, it's a really good story. Again, I think they, they touch up on it in, in the animated Avengers movie. And so... You know, yeah, if you can get that side of him, if they get that side of him right, who knows, they, they could even just scrap that whole idea together. You know, they might scrap it and worry of it being too close to Thor. Oh, travel, troubled prince of a faraway land, you know. They'd be like, oh, we've done this, we did this with Thor, Asgard. You know, so they could scrap that idea altogether. I hope they don't, because it's a wonderful story and gives some great characteristic elements to T'Challa um, and the bond between him and his father. And so, yeah, hopefully they will do it. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm psyched for this movie. As I say, if they get everything down right, you know, get the right character for the role, get the right script going for T'Challa's backstory, uh, get the right location, showing off Wakanda and all its greatness. And yeah, this could be a really cool movie. This could be really up there along with Thor, along with Iron Man, Captain America, you know. Be one of those movies that everyone really loves. And then when it comes to him being in Avengers 3, everyone's like, yep, awesome we have Black Panther, T'Challa in our ranks. Great, you know, awesome addition. And yeah, it, I think it would just make Avengers 3 that much better. You know, in Avengers 3, I hope to see Black Panther. I hope to see Doctor Strange. I hope they bring Ant-Man in for Avengers 2. But that could be Avengers 3 as well. So we've already got Pietro and Wanda for Avengers 2. And with including all the rest of these characters into this world, it'll be fantastic to see that in Avengers 3. All these characters come coming together. So long as they're not bulking it down with all these characters, but not giving them the development of the story the arcs they need. Because they've done that so well so far with Iron Man, with the Hulk, with Captain America, with Thor. They've built up these characters so much that we, we care about them. We want to be able to continue doing that. So they keep needing to doing these solo movies. I don't know what's happening with, with Pietro and Wanda as regards to a solo movie of theirs. I don't think it's going to happen because they've already been scheduled for Avengers 2, and there's been no further mention of that. But for, for Black Panther and Doctor Strange, it needs to happen. They need to have solo movies before being introduced to Avengers 3. You know, we are getting the Ant-Man movie. That is now fully underway. We have got the cast down. Uh, Michael Douglas, I think, is playing 
Hank Pym, the older version. And of course, Paul Rudd will be playing Scott Lang, the new Ant-Man from the comics. So yeah, if they bring all this together, it will be awesome. You know, keep developing these characters, keep building them up. And Avengers 3 should be one of the biggest movies of all time. Unless, of course, Justice League is. But I don't see that happening just yet, you know. Not that I don't love my DC characters, but the way they're going with uh, Man of Steel at the moment, as I've already discussed, I think Ben Affleck's a great Batman role, but with the rest of the uh, characters and all this stuff that's being thrown into Man of Steel too, yeah, I don't think they're going to catch up with Marvel anytime soon. But yeah, Avengers 2 on the way. Bring on Panther. Bring on Doctor Strange. Looking forward to seeing Ant-Man. Looking forward to seeing Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver in Avengers 2. And yeah, can't wait for Avengers 3. Long way off, but that's going to be awesome with all these inclusions. Yeah, it will be great. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to see more of these uh, Geekly reviews, subscribe. And I'll be doing more chats about news as I hear it. Uh, more game reviews coming soon as well. Uh, the next one I'm going to be doing is Don't Starve, I believe. So give a shout out as well to any other actors you'd love to see in the role of Black Panther. You know, we've got the short list of the ones I've seen rumoured on the internet at the moment. Personally, I'd love to see Jamie Foxx in the role, but because he's contractually obliged to Spider-Man at the moment, I doubt Sony are going to let him go, unfortunately. Even though I think he'd be perfect, they're not going to let go of their Electro. Also, there's a link in the description to the interview with Stan Lee where he says that there will be a Black Panther movie. Uh, thanks again for watching. Take care.